Rugrats. When we set out to select an application development system for our product, uh, we really surveyed the entire marketplace because there were certain things that were going to be very, very important to us. Probably the most important was a high productivity programmer environment. We had what we knew would be a very large application. We wanted to be able to develop it in a reasonable amount of time, and we wanted something that would allow our programmers to be productive quickly and then and, and continuing on into the future. So that was essential. So that meant to us a 4GL language. My company develops applications for the federal government. Uh, in a particular case, uh, it was a case for the Department of Defense, there was a very rigid specification developed for a database management system for a particular application. And we felt that uh, what we really needed to do this job was a very powerful relational database coupled with a fourth generation uh, programming language, because that was a way that we were going to be able to get there and react to this requirement very quickly. We, uh, we had a distribution uh, application that was running in all of the Dan and distribution centers around the country. And the, the system was having significant problems in, with integrity. And it was failing on a, on a relatively consistent basis. So in 1986, we went uh, on the search for a product to replace this application, the underlying database management system and the fourth generation language. And we searched amongst the major players of the time for a product that would, uh, that would run on personal computers uh, in the MS-DOS environment and also be portable to other platforms. Yes, support is clearly important to us. It was very important to us in particular because when we embarked on the development of our product Proteus, we had, this was the first product we were developing of any kind. Therefore, we knew that we had to move very rapidly with the development and support was going to be critical. Our research concurs that in order to be the right application development system for business and government software solutions, progress must have a flexible and easy to use fourth generation language, integrated with a multi-threaded relational database manager, offering complete application portability and comprehensive customer support. The key piece of progress that differentiates it most from the marketplace, we think, is its 4GL language. It's a complete, full application development language that allows you to do everything you need to do within the progress language itself. Well, the reason we chose progress because it integrates a very powerful uh, relational database, but it gives us features that we had to have to respond to this government specification. As an example, the uh, record locking, uh, the uh, the security features, the uh, automatic rollback and recovery that was very important for this government specification. Now, we were concerned because in the UK, uh, Progress was a fairly small organization, so we were quite vulnerable to support. If it were not there, we'd feel it quite quickly. And I'm glad to say that support, when we required it, was there. It was there either in the UK or we could get on to the support that was available through the UK from the States. So we got our answers always quickly. It was never a problem. Uh, I was in Hartford at the time uh, at a local area networking class because we were anticipating moving our, our, our MS-DOS based application over to a local area network. And um, the, the fellow in front of me uh, turned around and said, I, I think you should take a look at progress before you commit to any other uh, database management system. And at the time we were a, basically a, a breath away from committing to another uh, package. And um, that weekend, that Friday afternoon, I arrived back at the office and we uh, called Progress and received a copy of the test drive and dissected the test drive, we wrote a benchmark application within a week and it was done by a, a developer that had virtually no experience with Progress, no training with Progress. He was handed the manual and said, write the application. And uh, within a week, he wrote the application, we benchmarked Progress against the other product that we were just about to sign with and found the, the performance, uh, the development environment, the robustness of the language itself, um, the recovery capabilities of Progress far outweighed uh, any of its competitors. Let's have a look at the Progress 4GL and see how we can write a formula for success. For this demonstration, we'll be using the demo database that comes with the Progress test drive, the full function evaluation copy of Progress. This database is designed for an order entry system. The order entry system is for a sporting goods distributor supplying merchandise to retail outlets. This is the progress editor. From here, you can develop your entire progress application. 
Using the English Life Progress 4GL, let's pull some records from the database. We'll start with a simple example and ask Progress for each customer. Display customer number. Name, maximum credit, city, state, and zip code. With one keystroke, the Progress Editor compiles and then executes the procedure. As you can see, with those two simple lines, we are able to retrieve all these records from the database. Take another look at our procedure. Notice how we never had to tell Progress how to format or to display our data on the screen. Now, let's elaborate on this. We're going to select from the database only those customers with a customer number greater than 20. We'll sort these customers by state and by zip code. Next, let's customize the output. We'll display our records five at a time, starting at row seven with a title. And we'll change the default colors to yellow over black. Press F1 to compile, then execute. Oops, Progress has found a problem. Our program is really like some of the features that Progress has to facilitate their coding effort. As an example, the uh, syntax checker. After they've completed a piece of code merely by hitting a function key, Progress will check that code and tell them precisely where they have an error. And then there's an online help facility to help them further define that problem. Progress has stopped the compilation of the procedure. The cursor is placed at the point of error and a context-sensitive error message is displayed telling us that custom is an unknown field name. Let's say we didn't understand this message. With one keystroke, we access full online help. From this main menu, let's go directly to Recent Messages, which gives us a detailed explanation of our error message and suggestions for correcting the error. Now with one keystroke, back to our problem. We make the quick fix, compile, then execute. Five down, centered on the screen, starting at row seven with the colors yellow on black. Prototyping is truly a breeze with the Progress 4GL. The Progress fourth generation language uh, is an extremely powerful language uh, that's used extensively by the Dan and Technical Group. The uh, ability for Progress to provide extensive defaults, uh, making, making prototyping, the ability to get an application up very quickly, uh, very easy for the technical people. Uh, on the other side of the coin is the ability to take the language down to the keystroke level and take absolute control of your application should that become necessary. This is how we can exercise more control with the Progress 4GL. Here, our goal is to relate additional order entry files to our selected customer files. The powerful thing about this procedure is the use of three for each blocks. Progress is a block structured language. Because we have these three for each blocks, Progress will automatically produce three frames of output. One for the customer, one for the customer's order, and one for the order lines of that order, including the quantity, price, and the result of our expression, quantity times price, with the aggregate total. The government specification that we were working with required support to SQL and uh, Progress gave us that capability in addition to all the other terrific features that it has. Just how does Progress handle ANSI standard SQL statements? Let's go back to our first example. Our first example is now an SQL statement that is integrated with the Progress 4GL and will give us the same result. Hit F1 and voila! All the control and flexibility you need in a development language is 